books. The path ahead looks quite rocky and muddy. I think I'll just discreetly tuck the bike away and do the rest on foot. It's actually something quite nice about getting the Corran Ferry. It's like going to a Scottish island, but obviously you're still on mainland. It's just so tranquil over here that you hardly see a soul. So uh, yeah, I made the right decision on bringing the bike. It saves me £10 each way on the ferry. It was only like five, six kilometre cycle and it was an absolute doddle. If I had the mountain bike, I could have uh, took a bit fuller on, but uh, I'm happy with my choice because that's so much less hassle. Don't have to put seats down or anything like that. I just chuck it in the boot. So anyways, let's continue on along this track. Look at this folks, this is rather nice. A really cool setting and I reckon this one here must be my mountain that I'm climbing I've got a bit of a walk in still so I'll just keep plodding along ah folks it is absolutely roasting I've got one of these through dark uh, base layers it's really good for Wicking sweat, but I ain't no miracle worker, so I've had to shed a layer. And uh, I've no sun lotion either, so I'm a bit worried about getting burnt. But luckily, I've got my buff to protect my baldy head, at least. <laughs> but yeah, the hill I'm doing is just behind me here. I will be veering off this track in about half a kilometre or so, and I've got a river crossing. The ground's pretty saturated with all the rain recently. But it's been pretty dry over the Easter weekend, so hopefully it should present no significant problems. I have now reached the point that I come off the track and make my way over to the river. From here, it looks a bit wide and swollen, but I'll just go upstream a little bit, hopefully find a nice point to cross. So uh, yeah, here goes. Well, I've got wet feet there, never mind, it's not terrible. <laughs> Whoa, there you go. <laughs> this big rocky balboa in front of me is sadly not the true summit. In true Corbett fashion, the summit is just a little bit further behind, maybe like another kilometre or so. So, yeah. I need to get up and over this and I should see my summit after that. At least the view behind me is rather nice. Straight through the gap, Loch Linney there and right at the back there is Bidji and Nambian. And I can just make it a little bit. You've got Skurna Finney, which is part of the Unach Igach Ridge as well, just here. I had to buy trekking poles again quite recently, so I stuck with the same ones. I've got these black diamond efforts, the trail ones, same as the last ones but a different colour. But basically, I don't know if you watched my Ben Alder Cottage Boffy video, but towards the end, you see me crossing the river just outside the Boffy. I've got my trekking pole in hand, and then a couple of kilometres down from the Boffy later on, I discovered that I'd left it at the bridge crossing, just to make sure my dog got across okay and I put a post on the, one of the Facebook Boffy pages but nobody's recovered it for me and then Mo said it wasn't there when he was there a week later so that's a bit unfortunate Well I was running on empty so I've had to stop for a bite to eat had a cheeky little tuna pot here and that's filled me up nicely but this lump here you see behind me Still not the true summit, it's a little bit further back still. It's just gone two o'clock. Luckily for me, the clocks went forward this morning. <laughs> Otherwise, I might be running out of daylight today. But yeah, it's been a toughie. I don't know if I've just not got my hill legs back yet. It's just I've not been out much at all this year. The weather has just been atrocious.
But yeah, it is what it is, so I'm going to press on in a minute. I'm worried I'm going to lose this little cordless microphone. I've lost one before, and they're expensive. And I don't know if you've seen Kevin's video, but he lost his as well. They clip on to your rucksack or your top, and if you forget about it, take your rucksack off They so easily come away and then you forget and it's like a needle in a haystack trying to find one of these but I don't want to be one of these YouTubers that holds it in their hand when they're vlogging like yo this is Robin hitting up your screens with another hike let's go and hit this one now don't want to be one of them so I'll have it clipped on nine times out of ten maybe I should speak like that maybe that's I'm missing a trick so let's go dog let's do this wow I've never actually seen anything quite like that. I've obviously seen frogs before, but never in such high numbers. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm really so careful not to stand in any though. I'm terrified. Hurrah, folks. Finally. Jeez, that was hard fought. Woo. Well, folks, here we are on the summit of Ben Na Umfa which translates to Hill of the Cave, I believe. And I've had a little nosy around and I don't actually see any caves myself, but maybe they're further down. But anyways, this is in the heart of Ardgower. Very rocky in character, not too dissimilar to the rough bounds of Noida, which isn't that far away when you think about it. Glenfinnan is just over there to the north. And yeah, it's rather stunning, fairly remote. And the snack of the day, folks. If you're ever in the shops and you see these bad boys, they're Kurkur Chili Chatka. These guys are magic. They do three different flavours. These ones are my favourite. I think the other one's like a, a tangy tomato. Or another one, I can't remember what it is, but they're really good. Mm. Do you know what they're like? Do you remember Twiglets? Exactly like them. I think it's time to bail folks that took the best part of four hours to get to the summit and that doesn't even include the cycle in by the way that's just from the start of the hike so yeah it's not my fastest time ever <laughs> but i'm just admiring ben nevis before we go it's looking mighty fine with its dusting of snow looks quite deep near the top but anyways let's bail Quick update folks, what I've done is I took a more direct route off the summit following the Walk Highlands route. Basically what you do is you come off and there's an Avril Ravine, aka Ravine, just to my left here. You keep that to your left and follow the ridge all the way down, hit the valley floor, cross the river a bit further up from earlier on today, then you just walk down the same track. So that is the plan and I'm halfway down as it stands. It's quite steep. It's pathless, obviously, so uh, I'm just taking my time here. From summit to river, that took 1 hour and 15 minutes, and that includes the three river crossings as well. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I've got a long walk out back to the bike, so I'll get my head down and I'll bring you back, assuming my bike's still there, and then we'll try and catch a ferry. Oh, 
Yes, folks, I am back. Seven hours that took. Uh, that's some trek down that track. What was the time again? It was five hours 15, wasn't it? So an hour 45 down the track. I did say two hours from memory. Anyways, the bike's there, so that's good. That is me back at the ferry terminal on the Ardgower side. Happy days. That was a tough shift today, I'll tell you that. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wrap this up. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.